I'd always, when I was a kid, the first thing I wanted from the movie was the Wicked Witch's Hourglass, which I did ultimately get. Um, and I don't, I, I, I think I knew that that was out there somewhere, and that took a long time to sort of track down and get. When did you get it? I got it now close to 20 years ago at an auction in LA. And that one I actually physically went and bid myself. After that one, I never went again. <laughs> I always sent somebody because it's too, uh, it's too nerve-wracking. So this is the the Munchkin costume, which was Jerry Marin, who played the Lollipop Guild Munchkin, who hands Dorothy the lollipop. This is actually the most complete costume to survive from the movie. Um, it's everything. It's his booties. It's his stockings. There is even his underwear. Um, the underwear is not on display. This I mentioned. This is the ideal uh, Judy Garland as Dorothy doll. This is, this was going to be the original title sequence for the film. Uh, this was one of the first board games that was based on, on the story. It came out in 1921 where Parker Brothers, Parker Brothers still making board games. This little packet of magic sand, which was supposed to be yellow brick road sand that was given out. Stone Lithlow posters from the 1902 stage production. This is Dave Montgomery as, as the Tin Man and Fred Stone as the Scarecrow. This was the sort of big production number in the show, which was the, the both in the book and in the, later in the movie, the poppy field where the poppies put them all to sleep. And as you can see, quite a few other added characters that, uh, that people wouldn't be familiar with, but that were added to the stage production. And all the poppies were probably obviously dancers. So this was a big, big production number.